Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the final part of Chapter 5 of Wildermyth, where we'll finally find out what lies within the Mothargi Caverns, what we will need to destroy to endless war once and for all, and what kind of peace that will bring about. So everyone, I hope you enjoy today's episode, so along we go. Has anybody seen any of those telltale scrap piles yet? This this fog is so thick I can barely see anything. We'll probably hear more Thargi before we know, before we see them at this rate. Ooh, may maybe, ooh. That's an awfully pretty patch of flowers to be in a gloomy place like this. Funny shape. Funny shape they're in now that you mention it. Yes, it is a very funny shape. What is that? It's not just me, right? That's a giant fo f flowering footprint. This rings a bell. I remember a drawing of this very clearly, but the context is... Give me a minute. What was that? Vroom. Vroom. There's something moving through the forest. Something... Huge! Vroom! Ka, ka, ka. Hang on a minute. We're near Quendor Watch, right? Oh no. The Strider of Quendor Watch! What? A ter- A giant terrible beauty, dooming those who l look upon it. And you're remembering this now. Did you say- Did you say doom? Well, I've- well, now I've got to know what this thing is. Yeah, that sounds like Rick. Yeah, go for it, Rick. Are you sure we should go chasing after something huge enough to make of that print? Come on! Would you become an adventurer if not for the occasional doom? I ask myself that some days. And we're off to find the giant, the beautiful giant of Quendor Watch. This would be easier if I could see more than ten feet in front of my face. Vroom! The Morthagi! The Strider! Ooh! Oh. Scoof? Hmm. Alright, what are you? Come to me, brave one. Hmm? Ah! Creak. Voom. Foop. They, they're close. Get ready. What's on your face? Doom. <laughs> That's a lot of Morthagi right there that we need to go kill. So what did you just acquire and how does it affect you? Botanical. Rick's blood runs a little green. Leaf mark. Ah. Increased recovery rate. That's pretty good. Do I want to just open the door? I probably shouldn't. No. Never just open the door. Unless there's a spirit. Give yourself a turn to ready, to ready and prepare yourself. That's the best way to be. Ren, if you could open the door, please. Hmm. That's a lot of things in there. And you know the best person to deal with all of it? Actually, if I'm not mistaken, you... Your crit... Your... What am I call it? Cleave is like three damage, isn't it? Well, maybe your crit... Maybe you'll crit? Maybe you'll crit indeed? You certainly crit? There's no questioning that. Well, after that mighty strike, I think it's time for us to make special attacks. 
And then you infuse with anything in there. Yes, you can. You can move forward inside. You can infuse with that table. And then you can splinter blast. Come on. Or is it barrage? Barrage. You can barrage them. Barrage them! Dear God, Veyron, you do so much damage with the right materials. Okay, Rick, time for you to open the door and reveal what lies within. You find y yourself... What appears to be a, s a wardrobe. Awkward. Evil. Dead. What an easy attack. Well, now we're kind of stuck as we do need to, you know, somehow get past that fire. Veron, would you like to open the door so that everyone can actually just, you know, start coming in to the area they need to be? Because I'm pretty sure there's still a bunch of stuff we need to go kill. Alright, Degra, open the door. I thought they might be a bunch of somblers and crap. So let's just simply go kill them! Fry them! Good job, Dega. And now that thing over there is gonna have to run straight through us if it wants to go. To have it run straight through that fire if it wants a chance at us. Which is not going to be a pleasant experience for it. But ironically, Veyron can just steal the fire that Dagra just made. And then unleash it straight onto the set. Just jump it one space more in order to kill the septic. Well done, Veyron. Teamwork! That is teamwork, everybody! Is there no continued story? Really? No continued story? The fact that... For the fact Rick has now got some leaf on his head? Really? No? Damn. You guys are cruel. Alright then, what can we cancel? Uh, the pump. I don't want to see two pumps at once, please. We found a Gwinsome a new cloak. A lovely cloak. Quite fitting for him in his old age, honestly. He's gone through a lot as our Gwinsome. And he's likely to go through oh so much more. So we need to be ready to help him in every step of the way. Is there really not a river there? It looks like there's a river there. Oh, if that's the case, then I suppose Gwinsome and... The last three can just start going back down and... Making sure that everything's safe over there. Right, guys. Are you ready for the next assault against the... Dralven? Approaching a few... Ethusia's mine in the evening. Well, if we go on much further, we won't be able to light a fire tonight. A bit later. While gathering firewood. Hey, look look what I found. Does this mean anything? Should we move camp? Looks like Dralvin garbage. Let me see that. Ah, no, see. Break this open and... Magic ring! Who wants it? Oh, hmm. How do you know what it? How did you know what it was? This is maybe the twelfth magic ring I found in one of these things. I have no idea why they do this. Hmm. Why? What? Why do they? Why do you just wear one of them then? Why do you wear? Why do you just wear one of them then? <gasps> hmm. How come you only wear? How come you're only wearing one ring? Why not one on each th finger? Where are you from? You've never heard the story of Pell? Here we go. That name seems familiar. Ugh, these old bones. Veyron puts another log on the fire. Well, it ought to be, it ought, well, it ought to because Pell was the most foot, fort, m was the, m ah, these old words, these old aching lips of mine, they spoil my words. Well, it ought to, because Pell was foremost, the foremost magician of her time. Now, Pell's instrument was of choice, was something she'd called the banjo, 
which, which the exact form has been lost to time. But I hear it was basically like a manulet, manulut, if you've ever seen one of those. But with a sort of drum attached. Well, and of course she would travel all over the lands in search of stories, and songs, and frankly treasure. Now, one summer, Pell was travelling out to Andrea Field to look into the rumour of an old song. The, the story winds on. And the Thrixie started. First one, and then the rest. First one, and then the rest. Quiet! It's my story! Well, one of them started stamping its claw to the beat. And the rest began to join in. It takes a couple of detours, maybe. And the puts another log, as if measuring how much of the story is left. Then the great Gorgon, S. Usterix, fled the hall. With his hands clamped over his ears. The fire is nearly out. Pe Pell came at last to the innermost chamber, and there laid out a stone-cold altar were... Uh, five magic rings. Now, Pell was a damn greedy old vixen, and she put all five m rings onto her right hand, and then she heard a voice. Uh, and there was the Dralve who had stalked her at Andre Andrea Field. Pell laughed and reached out her right hand to flex her newfound power. Hmm. Well... And that's how she became known as the Pell, and that's how she became known as Pell the One-Handed. <sighs> and you can't play a banjo with only one hand. Anyway, who wants this ring? Oh, it's a pretty basic ring, I see. Well, let's see what other rings everyone has. You got bonus damage. Uh, you've got health. You've got accuracy. You've got warding. You've got you've got crit, which is actually good for you considering you're using a water bow. Yours is accuracy. Yours is dodge. Yours is dodge. Let's replace ri Rick's ring. And now we fight the Dralven. And there's a leaf spirit of all things. Oh, great. All right. What leaf crap haven't we unlocked yet? We don't have a leaf stunt sword. That could be a good one. You move there, and then you strike the terror bird, please. Hitting those two, and critting them too. Do we need more than Degra? Why are you now purple? Well, the drow the nearby Dralven are dead, meaning that Ren can now move forward and enchant his lovely dueling sword. Wow, what are you? Don't bite me, okay? Bree bree! Let's get us the Slim Song. Or enchant the Slim Song and turn it into the Flame Feather, which is a very ironic name, considering it's not enchanted with fire, but with leaf. And I think a le flame would burn a leaf to a crisp. Sometimes they need to get better at naming equipment, I think. Oh, these things are purple as well. Why are these purple? Well, Veyron, can you actually hit the, the Sky Singer? No, only the stump. Well, you can hit the stump at least. Good hit. Very good hit. Well, Athi can then reach there and shoot this with a glorious crit. Oh, God, I love it when you guys crit. It's so exhilarating. And there's another purple terror bird. I really don't know if there's been a graphical error right now or whether it's just something that happens. Why did you move forward and then move it backwards again? What the hell are you, are you hoping to achieve from that? Other, you know, other than being shot straight in the face. Twice. 
There's a reason I can sit up. Actually, I don't consider anyone the most powerful, quite frankly. They're all really powerful. All in their own right. Also, it looks like there's a gate, so best action is just to move desperately forward as fast as possible. Come on, old man! Old man Veyron. Alright, got two darts and a storm throat to deal with, do we? Well, that's not the worst. I mean, it could be better, but... I mean, it's mostly annoying just because of the fact... Just because of the very simple fact that... Hmm. Steel fire, you say? Or create a wall? The wall could be you good. But somehow... Steel fire just seems appropriate. Because I'm sick because I'm more scared of that thing than I am of a few darts. After all. Oh, so close, Athy. You could have been a hero. No matter. I'll let you try again, Athy. Would you like to try again? It took cover, of course it took cover. Oh well, Ren, would you like a kill? You don't have many, do you? There we go. Glorious. Rick has leveled up. And now he can choose to give adjacent allies plus one damage and potency, which I think is a very good ability. Especially as he's meant to be the guy from Amber, from whatever the name of his village was, who cries out in, who cries them out and inspires his his unit to do as much damage as possible. That's the last of them. What's that over there? Please help me. <gasps> Lucky for you, we were we happened by. Where are you from? We can escort you back. I, I have no home anymore. They came upon us at night, swooping in like vultures. They killed everyone, my friends, my family. I don't know why I was spared, and I've lost track of time. Perhaps they meant to keep me as a meal. I have no family to go back to. I have nothing. Don't force me back to an empty village. Take me with you instead. Let me seek my vengeance by your side. Well, join us. We could use the help. I mean, why not? It's another character. What's the harm of having another character? Welcome to the Angelic Saviors. Thank you. You won't forget this. I don't have many female voices in me. A pilot nobile. I don't think I want to know what that is, and hopefully I never will. Because hopefully that's the last time we'll have ever needed to fight those things. So this new girl... Was she a hunter? Hmm. Okay. What's her base stats? A girl poor, born in Palebrad. A peerless rascal. Often guilty of deceits and petty thefts. Nelira was too cute to punish. A tribe of mushroom people sheltered her from for a magical season. She promised to make her way back one day. But would she? And des the desperate days were just more opportunities for her. Admiring eyes would cling to her, and the power be thrust into her willing hands. Interesting. Oh, you've got basic equipment. Yeah, you're not getting used today. You you're welcome to the legacy. But that's all you're good for. All tur turtles all the way down. The day is calm. The scouting mission has discovered nothing dangerous. Having outdistanced her, her companions, Dega sits to rest. Does she dream? Does she sleep? Dream? Is it a vision? A metaphor? Or does a tortoise truly come and speak to her? She has seen somewhere before the patterns that swirl upon its shell. Of course you have. This pattern is everywhere. In the wind. In the stars, in the sea, in the storm, in the fire, in the and the fern. We have always been here. We? We hold up the earth in the sky and protect the storm. We protect the fern and the water and the wheat. 
You should understand that you, you... You should understand that. You protect others also. You're one of us. Can't you feel it? Hmm. This is it. This is how I can keep them all safe. Okay, this is too crazy. Sorry, Turtle. I need to wake up now. Yes, we're not losing Dagor. Not at the very end. Tortoise. Tortoise. Whatever. You're right. It's time you woke up. Hey, Dagor! You've been napping on the job? No, I... Did you see a... Yeah, I guess I... I guess I must have been. Took you long enough to catch up. Everybody's here! Let's go! Well, what can I do with this pine? This station, then? I could build a place for... Heartwoods? Two Heartwoods! Sure, why not? There we go! Well... We kinda just need to gather everyone over here now. Uh, we can cancel that. We have enough legacy points. We're now at the point where everything has been discovered. And now we're just on our way home. It's time for us to fight and do and what I'ma call it. Destroy the Morthagi Core! We are having no Morthagi being stronger today. It's time to end the story. Everyone is gathered in Griff's son's cavern. We're almost home. It's time to put the team to end the story once and for all together. We have Dagger. Shalix, Veyron, Gwinsome, and Athy. The original five who are now going to lead on the quest to finish off the Morthagi Core. They've been at this for too long. And it won't be much longer before they have to kick the bucket. But that's okay. For they have seen the, the end of the story, and they are going to see it through. The Morthagi went this way. Everyone be on your guard. What a lovely city. This must have been a... What a lovely city this must have been a long time ago. Do you ever wonder about the people who lived in these places so long ago? Did they walk these streets thinking the towers they built will stand forever? What were they like? Did... What brought them sorrow? Were they a happy people? Did they fall to the Morthagi? Did they leave behind anything shiny? Let's try and stay focused. Our foes are nearby. Hmm. All I'm saying is maybe it's not right. Maybe it's not right of us to go stealing from the dead. I don't know. These were real people once. I hear what you're saying, Arthi, but maybe you're overthinking it a bit. Am I a grave robber? The dead! The way I see it, they don't have use for material objects anymore. If so, if I have something that I could... If I have something that could one day help someone, I wouldn't want it to go to waste. No, I agree with Dagra, honestly. Objects are just things. All I want to leave behind is a legacy for the deeds I did and the people I helped. Hmm. Dagra has got the most reasonable attitude of the lot. In that circumstance. All right, Athy. Uh, let's start with you shooting the wieldling. Good try. Good try. Uh. If you do that, will you hit the wieldling potentially? You know, if you could actually hit it. Well, we've got Gwinsome to be Gwinsome, because Gwinsome's a badass. At the very least. And then we got Degra to be able to just go behind the Gweedling and hit it straight in the back. Well, let's get going, guys. 
Okay, guys. Degra, open the door. What do you see inside? You see a Sombler, which you can then strike in the head. And then deal nothing to the poor wardrobe. Well, Shalix can at least kill the wardrobe for us. Not quite the batch buy, though. But don't worry. That's why we have Athy. All right. Gwinsum, take some feet forward. My god, Gwinsum, you really are blind, aren't you? It's a very interesting thought to think how old these characters have gotten. Like, Athy, the youngest of the lot, is 70. He's the youngest. Maybe I shouldn't be using these old fogies. Maybe they are too old for the final adventure. But you know what? No. Because we got Veyron, who's 95. He's almost 100 and he's still going strong. He doesn't give a goddamn crap about anything. Plus 20 stunt chance when walling with Degra. Really? Is that what... What I'm gonna call it does? Having your friends do. Oh, no wonder everyone crits so much. All right, Quinsum, open the door. And then whack that septic. Quinsum's having none of it. Hmm. There's still more ahead of us. And Quinsum can't see them. And it's only in this section. Jesus Christ, guys. We're in a... Degra can see it, though. Interestingly. Well, Shalix can move forward, then. He can see the creature. He sees the creature. He wants to shoot the creature. He's gonna shoot the creature. He shoots the creature. He kills the creature. And we... Don't win. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's still more. Oh, this is bad. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's being a wuss. Well, go in some, go show it what happens when it decides it wants to be a wuss. God, you guys are blind. Athy is now a blue horn hunter. Excellent, Athy, you're level three. That's a good level up. Let's see. Athy's physical attacks apply poison one. As a single action, he can throw a bottle of poison that th poisons all units in the area. That's pretty cool. Every time Athy kills someone, he enters the Grey Plane for free. Hmm, okay. You know what? I'm going with the poison. I think poison would do him well. I love how Shalix is the oldest person here. And yet, he will not be retiring at the end of the next chapter. Shalix is never going to retire, is he? Given Shalix's stats, if I start a game at the beginning with Shalix, he is never- he is going to be there till the end, isn't he? Okay, guys. There is just one area left for us to delve. One area left for us to assault. Are we ready? It is time for us to go forth and put an end to this story once and for all. Assault the Multhagi Core. Destroying the Multhagi Core will end the war. And then the question is, will they just happily stay in their hole? Because they'll no longer be at war or in hiding. These are the issues we say. But we seek to believe that they are good people, if only because After is with them. And so, the final people. When you arrive, you will have ch a chance to make final preparations. When this fight is over, the game will end. We're ready. It has been a long time coming, and all of our hair is white. But we are ready to fight, once and for all. The time, the time has come. 
When we draw bo when we draw bonds of strength from our when we draw strength from our bonds, and scrape this curse of our good l of our land for good. Blades and wits sharp, ready yourselves. Wow, we just got a lot of stuff. Now for the final leveling up, of which I don't think there's anything to level up. No, nothing to level up. We've all got tier 2 armor, all got tier 3 weapons. Everyone who has an offhand weapon is using an offhand weapon, apart from Athy. I mean, Ath apart from Veyron. I mean, I can give Veyron a throwing axe, I suppose. I mean, why the hell not? Just in case. So, yeah, we're done. I had been prepared for... I had been prepared to... Pre I had been prepared to pay a price for the form I took. A price of flesh and breath. But it cost more than that. It cost peace. It cost the person I loved most. And though young and I never spoke again, perhaps the rest of this can be can still be put right. In the days when the flood of Morthagi had slowed to a trickle, Athi was able in the days when Sorry, I was using the wrong voice then. In the days where the f when the flood of Morth the Morthagis had slowed to a trickle, Athi was able to locate openings in the cliffs. I've seen a lot of things in my life. But this is a whole new sort of thing. It really is. Wow. Those pipes... The fact they're, that they're almost beautiful makes them all, all the more unnerving. With stone and iron and bone closing in, it can feel unlucky to be made of softer things. But we have our own strength, which should not be underestimated. Yes! The strength of rivalry! Ooh, the music's changed. This isn't the normal music. Ooh, there's a lot of things to come. This place is rather... I'm guessing this is going to be the core. And the thing that we need to destroy once and for all. But when we got people like that, it doesn't matter if we're, like, how old are you, Dega? Like, 80-something? And you're poisoned, because you can totally poison a robot. You know the best thought about Gwinsome being so slow? It doesn't matter, because he guards at the end of every movement. We are here, we are ready. And we can take this slow. For we are the angelic saviors. And none shall... You know, threaten us. Gwimsome is still the big beefy tank that we love him to be. Clear out the Grand Hall. Well, the fact that nothing is appearing right now is starting to unnerve me. Well, there's a wardrobe for us. Athy, would you like to try and shoot the septic? Excellent, you did it. Yeah, that poison is definitely worth it. All right, Athy, or Shalix, what can you infuse with that would be very useful in this situation? I suppose that for a start, just to, so that you remove all of the the things in the way. Athy, if you'd like to move forward, that was probably a mild mistake, but. Well, then you can shoot the the wardrobe, killing it. 
Degra can move forward and whack the the Sombler. Gwinson can move there and guard, be guarding, ready. Shelix moves forward and shoots the wield link. Oh, and he crits because he's a badass. Meaning he gets to shoot the batch by too. Meaning on the batch by's turn when he moves forward, Gwinsome just slices the damn thing down. This is why we are the ones to end the game. As Degra reached for the door, its eyes snapped onto her and groaned open by itself. Oh dear. It could be debated whether the heaving multi-part construction before them was alive, but it doesn't it wouldn't matter. Life was a quaint concept in this place. Alright, so we've got the core and a bunch of lesser cores. Interesting. Hmm. Who's most likely to crit right now? I don't think it matters. Well, Gwinsome can strike the wieldling. Can this thing even move? Immune to pushback. A Morthagi core cannot be pushed. Immune to compulsion. I suppose if you're going to include those as abilities in the game, you probably should do something like that. How much damage does it do? 3 to 5 magic and 3 to 5 damage. So in other words, most likely most of us should be fine. That butler isn't yet assaulting. So... Well, we found the lesser cores, which I expected. What do they do? Do these actually construct things? Con lesser core constructs a nurse to repair nearby cores. Huh. I see. Well, I suppose covering the core in fire is a good way for us to begin. Can you shoot that? Yes. Ooh, and Veyron can move forward and infuse with the fire. And with the fire, he can bestow another attack on Degra. What's your chance to crit right now? A hundred odd percent. Okay, we're going to do a little abuse right now. Shelix, shoot the core! Good job! Shoot it again! Excellent! And Shalix, despite how much I love you, it's going to be teamwork that ends the day. Or, you know, just a little bit of fire. That'll work too. Oh, I need to kill everything. Oh, that makes things a little more awkward. Destroy the three cores. Mathagi will keep coming. A wieldling has appeared. Is that it? Okay, then. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Athi, shoot the thing. You do the least damage. Now, what's your ability? Search, repair, and scan. So in other words, crap, crap, and more crap. Got it. Dagra, move over there. Oops, fire blast, please. Shalix. Move, move there. Infuse with the fire. Fire leash, there. Excellent. Gwinsome. Move there. And strike down the core. 
That was a weird camera angle then. I feel I should kill these nurses just because I don't trust them. Okay. The Morthagi may keep coming, but they haven't come yet. Meaning, we have the power to do that. Veron! Infuse with a fire. Gwinsome. Move forward. Strike down the core. Shalix. I tell you to shoot the core. You know what? Yes, shoot the core. Shalix, you did the fight. You did the speech. That means you're the main character. That means you get the final blow. Well done, guys. And Gwinsome leveled up right at the end. It's not like it matters right now. But I suppose I should choose an ability he can have for later. Which is going to be... Bard. I think he's seen enough. Gwinsome has seen enough crap in his life to become a bard. The walk back was darker. The walk back out was darker, but the ceilings didn't collapse on us. And without their maddened voice to call them, the things that were once Morthagi fell still and silent. Some were burned, some were buried, a few repurposed. So, what are you going to do now then? The underling lands are a bit sour on mechanical folk on at the moment. It would be wise to lay low. What's another few hundred years, after all? Hmm. And then they're on their walk home. Veron looks back and sees the sombler in the dirt. And sees it growing. New life has sprouted from its mechanical chassis. The end. You have won. Previous years of peace, 46, 48. Total years of, final years of peace, are 165. Shalix built a lodge that attracted like-minded enthusiasts. Days were spent tracking in the woods. Nights were spent exaggerating what they had tracked in the woods. Ren was less keen than some to spend evenings reliving old days. I specifically thought Mathagi wouldn't have to think... I specifically thought Mathagi so I wouldn't have to think about them anymore. Wow, this is amazing. Thanks for bringing me. Gwinsome says to Shalix as he brings him to a mighty mountain view. Peace couldn't have come soon enough. I don't know how many more fights I had left in me. More than Shalix, more likely, Veyron. Ha ha ha. Nyrera gathered as many of the company's stories as she could and enlisted Athi to illustrate them. Wow, this is great. Wow, great. This will give kids nightmares for sure. Hope asked Winsome to journey with her to the forests around Amarik. Together they tended the wild things, root and rock and steam. Stream, though their sweat and painstaking labor, they saw the woods recover. The wood that came out of Nymira Lumberyard had a she had a unique sheen. And if you looked at it in the right light, it seemed to glow within. It especially worked for wands and staves. Hope enjoyed spending time with researchers of Ranbody Odery. There was a certain lofty reference in their mission to explore the Yonderling Land's most mysterious workings. Ah, reliving the old memory of Athi trying to steal an egg and utterly failing. Good times, good chap. Good times. One day, day Degra awoke with a lightness in her step. It, I understand now. It all makes sense. She vanished for ten years and returned somehow unaged and full of sorrow. 
Brick developed a passion for restoring ruined sites. He rented out the sites to travelers at a decent nightly rate. Ah, good old traveling with Athi and Nigeria. Going through the woods. Nairira never really saw combat, so she gets to live in a world of peace. The old gang are in a bar together, having laughing and good times. Gwinsome at the front, know it telling his stories as he vanquished Ulsterix as well. Helmund Smithy offered to take the discarded dwarven armor and Morthagi parts, melting them down and reforging them to be used against their former masters. Good idea. Very good idea. Now all the heroes are to be added to our legacy. And we could upgrade... Hmm. We could upgrade their promotion tier. Who do we want to upgrade? Who has earned their right to be a local legend? Is the question. Shalix, without a doubt, has earned his right to be a local legend. And you know what? As much as I love Veyron, I do think Gwinsome, having been on his second quest, can now become a fabled adventurer. Like the magnificent man that Gwinsome is. Well, everyone. Our story has come to an end, but you need not worry, for there is a third one available, released like a couple of days ago. So do tell me, everyone, if you would love to see the third story continue, especially with Gwinsome in tow. So, everyone, leave a like if you'd like to see more Wildermyth, and see how the new story will possess and go on. So, everyone, what can I say? Other than thank you all for joining me today. I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.